Hi! Victor here. In this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to animate Instagram icon, for any social media video projects that you might have, something to look like this. I was using this effect when I created the Instagram page promo template, using some doodle effect, a text masking an image, also a linear gradient color to suit my project, and some other amazing features of Create Studio Pro, that I will show in today's tutorial. On May 29th, I was posting on the group this Instagram page promo template, and among the comments on that post there was one comment from Lisa Fink, asking how I created the mirror shadow text effect for the Instagram word. Right then, I got this idea of making a tutorial about this effect, so here it is. So, let's have some fun creating this Instagram intro animation. I am starting by adding a rectangle, and I'll go to settings to change its color. I will give it a linear gradient color, to resemble the Instagram icon. I already have my gradient saved here as you can see. You can always set your preferred gradient colors. You can even add multiple colors for one gradient. This is another amazing and very helpful feature, that I love in Create Studio Pro. So, I will choose the gradient that I have saved for this project. And let's expand this rectangle to fit the canvas. I will zoom here to this corner, and by dragging this handle, I will make all the corners of the rectangle rounded. Now, let's increase the size, and scale it up with 10%, just to get the rounded corners outside of the canvas margins. I place my playhead here at about 1 second, and I will add a custom animation. I'll set the properties for position, scale, and border. I set the duration a little shorter. Let's now make this more like a square. Make it smaller like so. Center it. Adjust a little more, just to have the square as you like it. And readjust the corners. Next, I will bring in a square from the shapes menu. And let's make this square smaller. I am typing in a lower value. I zoom in, and I will adjust the square a little more, and make the corners rounded. Next, let's set a border for this shape. I will set the border width to 8, and I will make the border white. To get rid of the fill color, I will bring here the opacity all the way down to 0. Now that I have this rectangle as I want it, let's add a motion preset. For this, I will move the playhead right at the very beginning. I want this white square border to animate before the gradient background starts to scale down. I will choose position, and I'll make that square to move up. To make this entering animation more customized, I go to the advanced settings, and let's change the rotation at minus 90. Now, I will adjust it a little bit more, to fit my preference. To make it even more attractive and to animate further, I will also add a doodle effect. You can see here that drawing was already added to the element, and if I click on it I get this settings panel right here. First, I will toggle this off, to hide the drawing hand, and I switch here to manual to edit the path for the drawing effect. By clicking edit path, I can do my own path for this doodle effect, you can see that the default path is like zigzag, I will clear this path and create my own. To do that, I will hold control and click to add a point. As you can see, after I added the second point, this path line is covering too much, so I will bring its size down to about 74%. And by following the line I will keep adding points, and go around until I will meet the first point again, and then I will click finish. If I preview a little bit, notice that the white border square as it is drawn while is moving up. Let's see a full preview. So far everything is just great. For this doodle effect to be more visible, I will extend its duration here a little bit. Next, I will bring in a circle, to place it right here in the center, and I will do the same as I did for the square. I will set a white border and remove its fill color. To animate this circle I will add a motion preset. I choose scale up, and I will change here the easing and choose bounce. To make the Instagram icon complete, I'll add another circle and make it very small. Let's bring it here. Zoom in and make it even smaller. Position it right here like so, and give it a white color. Now, to animate the circle, I will simply copy the other circle's motion preset, and just paste over the small circle element, to get the same bouncing scaling up animation. I am adjusting these to motion presets, and make them a little bit shorter. Next, I will adjust some more, to have their position on the timeline as I like it, 
You can adjust by your own preferences. Now everything here is set. I will select all on the timeline and I will group them together. After the gradient rectangle scales down and after the Instagram logo finished animating, I will need that group as a whole to animate further. So I will add a custom animation right here. I'll add a scale animation, select a linear easing and moving the playhead to the last keyframe of the animation. I will scale the whole group down and I will center it. Next, I will add another custom animation. For easing I will choose Expo. And here I will set position. And again, having the playhead on the last keyframe. I will drag the whole group to the left side. Let's have a preview. Next, I will bring in another rectangle to create a vertical slash between the Instagram logo and the text that will follow to be created. After I made my adjustments to have this vertical slash in place, I will add a custom animation and I will choose scale. With my playhead on the first keyframe, I will bring the Y scale value all the way down to zero. And moving the playhead over to the last keyframe, I will bring that value back to 16. Let me also go and change the easing to Expo. Now, I'll bring this element under the other one, and I need to find adjust its position on the timeline, to animate right after the Instagram logo passes over its position on the canvas. So, let's see. Right about here maybe. Bring it a little bit more to the left on the timeline and let's see how it plays. I think that's okay, I will leave it like that. Now that I have the vertical slash ready and animated, let's bring in the text. I don't really know what the exact original font of the handwrite Instagram word is, but I did find a font called Olio Script Swash Caps, that gets very close to the Instagram font for this word. This is a free font I downloaded online, I will leave a link for that font in the description below if you'd like to use the same font. I'll change the text, and I'll type in, Instagram. I am changing the size, and I am aligning the text to match the other elements on the canvas. I will need a copy of this text, so I will duplicate once. Next, I need an image that I will mask with the copy of the text. I already have my image imported from Pixabay, and if you'd like to use the same image, you can search for it right inside Create Studio. You go to Media, go to Pixabay, then search for the word Braid. And if you open full gallery and scroll a little bit, you will find the picture right here. I will also leave a link in the description below, if you prefer to go and download the image from the Pixabay site. So, I will just drag the picture on the canvas. And I'll resize it to fit the text. Now that I have the picture set, I will add a custom animation to it. I'll set the easing to linear, and I'll set here position, then, by placing the playhead over to the right, to the last keyframe, I will move the picture to the right, just next to the Instagram word. Next, I will select the image here on the timeline and I will group it. Then, by selecting both the image group and the text, I will mask the image group with text. And now, by doing that masking, the image is only visible inside the text. To get a better effect, I will add a doodle effect on this masked image. I am hiding the hand and I will select to manually adjust the drawing effect. Again, I will click on edit path, and I will clear off the path that's set by default and draw my own path. I zoom in, and by holding control and click I am starting to add points for the new path. I also need to adjust the draw size a little bit. And I will keep adding points to cover all the letters of my word. I will speed up the process a little bit. I will continue to add points to my new path, just along the forms of each letter, and make sure I cover the entire word. And now that I have my desired path I'll click here to finish. Let's make this motion preset I just added, a little bit shorter. To get the effect I want, I will select the text below that I have here without any masking, 
I will change the anchor point to the middle left. And I will set a motion preset, a fade and animation. One more thing I need to do. I open this group and inside I'm having the image animated to move to the right. I need to move the custom animation at about half a second to the right, so that the position animation to start a little bit later, just to give the doodle effect a little time to reveal the text. I will also extend a little bit, the duration of the fade in motion preset I added to the below text. So far the animation is how I want it to be, I extend the length of elements on the canvas, while some other I will make shorter, just to have them all aligned at the end. Next, I will select all and group together. And right here where the text animation comes to a stop, I will add a custom animation to the whole group, I will set position and scale, and for the easing I will set again expo. Let's make this animation a little shorter, and again having the playhead on the last keyframe of the animation, I will scale down the whole group, then bring it up here, and have it centered vertically. And let's have a full preview now. So, that's about it. This is how I created the Instagram animation. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell, to be notified for the upcoming tutorials on my channel. As always, thank you for watching. And if you need some ready-made templates to customize yourself in Create Studio Pro, make sure to check out the marketplace where I constantly add new templates that are just great for different video projects. Until next time, have fun creating!